Growing up, my favorite cartoon was always Cat Dog, and I always wondered how awesome it would be if we made a real life cat dog. And that is exactly what I set out to do. And with the help of my personal pet, Charger, and my best friends, Feline, we extracted their DNA and took it back to my personal laboratory at home, where I spent the next nine months splicing cat and dog DNA into what would be the world's first cat-dog hybrid. And the results are absolutely breathtaking. Notice the canine features with the soft cat-like fur and ears. Notice also the whiskers. And as you'll see, these cat dogs play like cats and dogs. These are on the market currently for $200. Thank you. This experiment started by taking DNA from my shellless turtle and splicing it with DNA from one of my hairless rats. We took their samples to the laboratory where we spliced them together, quickly fertilized eggs, until after five months, they were born. This is one of the first ever hairless half turtle, half rats. As you can see, they're quite large and round, like a turtle, but they look more like a rat. We have to continue to moisturize it, as they're used to living in moist climates. They're extremely friendly and love to eat lettuce. They're very cute. My wife loves them. We gave a couple to friends, but as you can see, let the others go back into the wild where they belong. Thanks for watching. This experiment started off by taking DNA from our pet hippo and splicing it together with DNA from our pet pit bull in our home laboratory. We quickly fertilized eggs, and as you can see, they're quite large. We wanted to show you the egg's heart beating. As you can see here, it is alive. After about five months, the egg began to hatch, and the world's first hippo pit bull was born but what it looked like when it grew up will blow your mind. The world's first hippo pit bull is one of the wrinkliest dogs you'll ever see, but it's so cute and friendly. We only made one of them, and so we're keeping him as our own pet. His name's Wrinkles. Follow my channel to see more amazing animal creations. This experiment started off by extracting DNA from my friend's pet dolphin, as you can see here. And we took DNA from our pet bull terrier. We took both of their DNA to my home laboratory where we quickly fertilized eggs in the lab. This is what they looked like. We had quite a few of them as you can see here. And when they hatched, you wouldn't believe what they looked like. This is the world's first bull terrier dolphin hybrid. And in the next video, I'll show you that we sent their DNA to 23 me to see what would happen. But as you can see, they look very much like a dog, but with dolphin attributes. This is one full grown. They are so cuddly and smart. It's amazing. Follow me to see more of my hybrid animal videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. This is one of the greatest experiments I've ever done. After isolating DNA from our pet albino squirrel, we took it to the lab alongside DNA from our pet electric eel. And we couldn't forget taking DNA from baby ducks so that we could get their yellow color. We took all of this back to our home laboratory and after five months we finally made a Pikachu. This is a world's first. Yes, they do have a small electric shock, but they are very safe to handle. They are friendly and cute. We sell them for $200. One of my favorite animals that I've made so far was a cat mixed with a bird. And you won't believe it, but bird DNA and cat DNA are very similar. And their bone structure made it very easy to have favorable results. So just as I did with the chicken, I extracted the DNA from a cat, which was quite easy. And I spliced it with DNA from a chicken, like the ones from the videos before. The results were absolutely breathtaking. As you can see, I've successfully developed cats with wings. And although they can't fly, they still function as normal cats, except they have wings. I have sold hundreds of these all over the world, and I hope you love them. 
but we have let many go into the wild to be free. Thanks for watching. Bye. This experiment started off with collecting DNA from our pet dog here and also taking DNA from our pet rabbit, where we took them to our laboratory and quickly spliced them together so we could fertilize the eggs. After letting the eggs sit in the incubators for many months, they began to hatch, and the results were breathtaking. As you can see here, we have these small white dogs, but they look like bunnies. They are half bunnies. They are very jumpy and fun and happy. Should we call them bogs or dunnies? This experiment started off by taking DNA from one of our snake eel hybrids and mixing it with our Pikachu hybrid. We took their DNA to our laboratory where we quickly fertilized frog eggs. This process took a lot longer than we expected and was a lot more complicated than expected, but as you can see over time, we were successful in fertilizing eggs. We weren't quite sure what to expect, but as you can see, the results are astounding. This is the world's first frog, Pikachu, and eel hybrid. It is electric, and it is a water creature. As you can see, I started an Instagram. Please follow me over there for exclusive content.